All right, so just gonna do a quick play-by-play -play game on Gib. So like looking at their team comp, they have Fast Strong, X Ball, Neja, Kali. So they got three physical and then like a kind of like a tanky magical. I'm gonna be prioritizing a little bit of physical defense this game, and I don't really know who I'm against in who I am against in lane. So I'm just gonna go to health pots just in case. Um, I may not need him if I'm against something like Fafnir. He's not gonna be able to poke me out. But if I'm against something like Neja or Zhang or any of those, then those health pots may come in handy. Uh, I'm just gonna start normal because it's a ranked game though. So I'll probably just start in lane. Maybe scout a little bit, make sure that they don't run to my speed buff. Um, like they aren't. Go check in lane. So it looks like it's going to be Neja. So these health pots should come in handy. And then he is boots rushing on Neja. Um, he's going to outclaim me pretty hard. So I'm not going to try and contest clear at level one. I'm just going to sit back and clear the wave. Tag him and the wave so the minions come a little bit towards me. Awesome. He's doing speed to blue, so that means I want to be closer to my blue at the start of the, this laning phase anyway. So I get my blue buff. I'm going to let these die. I'm going to tag this wave and then walk over to my blue just so I can get credit for these minions. Pretty simple stuff. So I got the entire wave and I got blue buff, and now I can roll it to the wave. I'm fine with that. He's not contesting clear, so I'm just gonna try and get Totem. This Totem early game is pretty important. I'm chilling. Missed his Sash. That's good for me. Like, he should 100% get Totem there as Neja, but he just decided to go on me instead. Looks like he'll probably back now for his full boots, so I'll just zone uh, the wave. There it is. He might lose him in here. He probably won't, just because his brute minion's taking. He's gonna get to the minion in time. Yeah, he will. So since he's boost rushing, he's gonna have a lot of pressure, and he's already supposed to have pressure as Neja. So I kind of just want to make sure I don't lose any minions and get my guardian stacks up. Um, don't want to lose this to tower. So, my job right now is just try not to get behind it all. That's your job as Gib, especially into a high pressure god like Neja. I like maxing my two as Gib solo. Some people like maxing their one first, but I always like maxing the two. And so that make sure you call your missings when you're against a high pressure early game and they walk into the jungle. I'll get this next totem, nothing I can do about that. But the fact that I got the first one's really good. Gonna keep these minions tanking. That's another benefit of going more uh, health bots combined with your chalice. Is that if you ever need to tank the minions up outside the tower line, you'll be chilling. Make sure we defend that. I don't really mind. Uh, using my chalice to my advantage. I'm gonna try and zone him out from going to my blue buff here and just think these get these minions and get blue buff. So we're chilling. Even though I lost some minions at tower, guardians busting and stuff has helped me keep up in gold. And I've got 35 guardian stacks and I'm only down 100 gold, so. these minions here. I want to back for my boots pretty soon. TP back in. Oh, I lost that minion. That was bad. That's pretty bad by me. So I'm just going to let these minions die in my face and I'll back for my cooldown boots. So I can actually kind of contest his pressure right now. I step out of the fountain, pop my chalice, then refresh it and TP back so that I can uh, have this pot to tank these minions. Um, so it's not like I'll ever really out trade him, but... I'm gonna keep this extra health pot that I have and not go wards because I don't really have to worry about ganks when I'm playing this passive. And it's a ranked game, so I kinda just wanna like uh, match his sustain. I thought that might go to me. I wanna get my guardians fully stacked as soon as possible, so kill him for now. Try and space for that, but I didn't. Keep using my pots to get this uh, guardian stacked up. And once I get some points to my abilities, I can start. I can start uh, rolling out to back camps and stuff. 
once I get my Guardians fully stacked. But the way you play this laning phase, at least against a high pressure character like Neja, is you AFK a little bit. Alright, I got my Guardians fully stacked, so we're chilling. This should be a free kill. There's body blocking. Should be dead though. Trying to space for this ring toss. It doesn't matter. All right. Grab blue. Back to wave. I missed some of that, or most of that wave, but it doesn't really matter. Because we got a kill. Early game, those kills were really worth it, and plus we punished him for proxying, and we got our blue buff. So. Maybe we can go for their blue buff because it should be up. I'm going to save my two so I can use it on the wave. Roll out through this when it's in execute range. Okay, so that's his TP. When I push that wave under tower, he's going to his blue buff. I won't be able to contest. Looks like their jungler was here to drop it. Yep, because I heard it. <laughs> Good, Arco. I don't really mind this. Just use my pots to heal up. His ult is down, so he might have some kill potential at some point. Aja does sustain a lot, so. Playing back now. I have my ult again in five. My ult's up before his, so he might be able to kill. He's gonna sustain a lot with his two now. Still might be able to kill him. Not quite. Just a little damage test. Wasn't quite able to kill him. Uh, it's not that big of a deal though, because once my TP's back up, that's kind of what I want to play off of. Try to miss that. And roll out to the totem. Try and get this real quick. One thing you got to be careful with Neja is the playing around the totem when he has ring bounce, because it will bounce a ton and do a ton of damage. So. I'm gonna back, just get tier 2 breastplate TV back in and try and play off that power spike. I'll go wards as well. Just so I can start playing pretty aggro and get some wards in their jungle. Get timers and stuff. So. Probably should have just used my 2 on the wave there so I could go to my blue ASAP, but. ASAP Rocky. I run to my blue buff now, secure that. Enemy missing left. Once you start getting these points into your your abilities as Gabby, you just want to start hyper farming because you have to start having full CDR, really low cooldown on your rollout because the more you put points to it, the lower CD it gets and you can just run around and one shot stuff and get to that late game form which you're looking for. Shield so I don't take too much minion damage. Here. His blue should be down because their Kali dropped it when I was basically working on mine. They can't really ever kill me. Oh, what the hell? Loop up the wave there and go work on this totem. Too bad we can get timer on their blue with my ward or anything. Guy's taking a lot of damage because he boots rush and doesn't have warlocks. Or not warlocks, warriors. His TP is down, so poking him out here is pretty useful. Up his back. Try and push this wave under tower. Okay, he's gonna lose this entire wave to tower, so that's good. I'm not gonna proxy just because I don't have eyes on them. Actually, let's do it. I don't have eyes on, the, on them, so this is kind of risky. I wanna try and hit the big one so I don't. I clear as efficiently as possible so I don't have to be there be here as long as I or for an unnecessary amount of time. Their backs are up. This is kind of sketchy. I kind of want to bring him away from the wave though. Because at best I want to make him lose the wave. He's losing this entire wave to tower, so that's two waves in a row. I might die for this. I should be good actually. Oh no, he got his thing back up. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. He lost two waves under tower. 
We gotta kill him mid at least. They traded, unfortunate. Can our void stone next? Oh, he's dead. That ended up being rough because he's gonna be able to get blue buff and he got a ton of pressure. I wouldn't have died though if Kali wasn't there. So definitely a questionable play, like I said from the get go. I probably wouldn't have done that. Your right tower is under attack. Sucks he's able to get my tower off of that. Your middle tower is under attack. Still ahead in gold though, so. Just gonna try and hit this a bunch so I can get an execute. No! Should be able to get this blue. That really gets it here. Oh, dude. Supposed to. I'm gonna get ganked. That's finally rotated and we killed everyone. I should be able to get this tower now and trade it, so. Oh, maybe not. I'll push the wave though and the minions will get it. I'm just gonna back here. Uh, he'll probably TP back in honestly and defend the tower. But I'll back anyway and get some wards. My blue should be coming up relatively soon. So you wanna max tier 2 and then your 1. At least in my opinion, you can do your one and tier two, but that's what we that's what I do, two and a one. Um we got the tower, which is nice. See if I can go kill these guys. Oh, that's too bad. Oh no, I shouldn't have gotten stunned by that. Oh, the hell? That was rude. Nice. Alright. So I'm like 300 gold ahead against like a high pressure character as a late game character, so we're kind of smooth sailing from here on out as long as we play the team fights correctly and uh, the team plays around me correctly. I'm just gonna try and hyper farm here. We're chilling over there, nice. I'm gonna go push out right. Maybe look for their blue buff. I'm gonna ward it just so I see if they're on it. Ollie is going right jungle as well, so I gotta be a little bit careful. Oh, it looks like they're just gonna get that. Yeah, this Nijia went damage as well, so that's really good for us. He went Jotun's. Gonna be looking around for farm for the most part. Go back right, make sure the waves are pushed. Call out that Nija coming right here. Dang it if I need to as well. There's some pretty good wards. They got a gank and duo off. I'm gonna push another wave here just because it's gonna make it really awkward for them to either defend right or defend gold if I rotate over. Plus, it's all about that farm, boys. Max my shield after that just because shield is like the most broken ability in the game. So we got a wave under tower on right. Look at their back. Try and back now. I can TP back in. Okay. It's gonna be awkward now. It's fine, though. We're gonna get gold most likely. So we're chilling. I was gonna rotate over, but we decided to go to gold. We could have fought them either way. Either you can do gold or fight them. That should be a free kill. Nice. I'll call my TP is up so I can help out my team if they continue to fight forever. 
before they go to fire or something. They just need to get out. They shouldn't be fighting. How's E staff work? Uh, what do you mean? You hit the enemy gods and you get procs and it increases your health. I'm gonna defend mid. Definitely gonna go blink here. I kind of picked a few times when I didn't need to. You will feel my corruption. Your left tower is Cancel that. I'm gonna try and go right jungle so I can get this blue buff. Attack left lane. I'm up like 1k gold on Deja now, even with these uh, pointless deaths that I've had. Probably go McGuardian. Should probably go that first instead of E-Staff. Awesome. Nice, they're getting duo kills. I'm gonna chase this guy around actually. I hear him back here on here, I'm gonna kill him. Nice. I just was listening for his sound cue there on the back and staying since my blink was up, I figured I can kill him. Oh no, dude. I'm gonna shield my current since he's gonna take a ton of damage from John. Oh my goodness, he took so much damage. Should be a good fight still, maybe? Maybe not. Just try and get out. After your stun should be down. Surprised we didn't kill him there, the Zhang. We should not do this. Shield his CC. He's probably dead still though, because we got the double stun. Gonna farm in the meantime. An ally has been slain. A sentry here, just so they know if they come to blue. They might just be on pyro, but I don't see any animations on fire, just checking for that. I don't want him to defend Pyro, I just want him to defend Fire if they're on that. That's a free pick. I guess his beads weren't up. I think we would have killed him either way, but... So I'm just gonna go full E-Staff and then I'll go to meet Guardian. Honestly, a little bit of my like deaths early game were completely unnecessary, and I, I didn't have to play it like I did. But sometimes you gotta take some risk to, you know, risk it for the biscuit. A little double ward for the Geb, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, even those, even with those deaths, like I was farming pretty efficiently as Geb, and all you want to do is get the late game as Geb. So, and we're at that point, and I'm up 2k on my opponent for the enemy laner. So. I'm kind of chilling. That's his TP. Kind of missed that uh, minion there because I turned for a second. That's too bad. Ultimate is down. Ultimate is down. Maybe not. I'll just get these mids and then go to back. Oh, thank you. That's good. We traded my ult for Kali beads and I have full CDR. Nice. Now we can go Gold Fury. Kali beads are down. They're Fafnir's poke. We can do mid tower first. I'm sure this guy just so he doesn't take too much poke. We can go to Golden now. Should be free. Like I said, Kali ult is down. We have a pick. We have a lot of pressure. We got uh, mid tower and some ways push. I can go push right after this. Should be able to burst in time before you get there. Yeah, we're good. Save my, save my secure a bit. 
I'm gonna back and just go TP right and push out the waves and get my blue. I mean, Guardian's really good here, like I said, because they have, uh, like, three of their physicals. Like, they do a lot of damage, plus, obviously, Kali, the Guardian's really good against, and X-Ball. They on fire. Just want to be constantly checking for that. Looks like they're not. You can see the animations from here. You can see animations really far away on fire. I'm gonna push out right. We have an Oni wave, so this all these waves are gonna push on our favor. So if the enemy team doesn't defend it, then we'll be owning them. Try and rotate high here and get like a nice blink ult off. They group up here. It's gonna be sick for me. Oh, this is perfect. Except I'm kind of missing people. I hit those giant guys. They're an important target. I'm just gonna focus on the people in front of me. Stay with my team a bit. You can maybe still kill. Okay, just owning our back line. Maybe we can get this mid tower. I'm not really sure what happened for us to separate that hard and for him to kill our back line like that, but I'm gonna stay with my Kern so he doesn't get killed by this Kali. Try and body block. Oh, I messed up the timing of my one. Try and body block this guy real quick. I have ult in three, be careful, be careful. Oh, he just healed so much, what the hell? Oh, he's got Aussie plus devs, we can get this tower now. Cancel that. I thought my team was gonna come to me, but it's fine. I can back up. We can get that tower whenever. I can back up and get my, my guardians. A big tower spike. Just want to try and keep my current alive there. It's actually sick. This double life steal plus my Geb shield. It's gonna be really hard for them to kill him. To be honest, I kind of like it. I think my Humbash is just checking to make sure they're not on fire. Into his backstorm, or maybe he's gonna try and go kill that Kali. His back, skip blue. Once I hit level 20, dude, every level you get on Geb is important because it makes like all of your abilities get so much better with level. Like literally every single one. We should get some wards in the right side for fire. I'm gonna try and go push this right wave. Place my sentry in a like a good. Like choke point, priority spot. Level 20. I'm gonna sentry their backs just so I know where they are. Oh, this is gonna be huge. Nice. I'm gonna try and keep my Humbats alive here. Sturm was full HP and he's got double life steal, so I decided to shield my Humbats because he's the only one who can really die there. Try and peel for him. No, dude, why are they dying? We can do this because we have a way for that back to our minions. Back to our protection. Think the whole thing. Oh, he jumped. We can kill him now. That's good. That's really good because now his death timer is really stalled, and we can just pull fire with the. Uh, we could probably pull it anyway, but since I have my TP, I'll just do that, and then I'll probably just go a uh, spirit row blast item or mantle. I should have grabbed another ward as well, but I just TP right away. I'm trolling. Mm, let's just do this for now. Because we don't have our current alive, we want to make sure we have our ADC there because we won't do a lot of damage without him. Just two guardians working on a totem. Can the Sunbats come hit this? I really need him to come hit this. We can just pull this because they don't really have good secure over us. My two does a ton of damage for it. I shield him for this poke that he's taken. I'm gonna back real quick because I get my spirit room. 
and a sentry. Tell my team that. I would tell that in comms if I was in comms with them. Now I'm pretty much unkillable. I have full CDR. I already had it if I had my blue up, but I have full CDR, some more Geb shields, more more living, I guess. And took my top damage, feels bad. Try and push out this right wave. Oh, he's in left, so we should definitely be able to pull this. He should have just pulled it and I could have come shield him. Come to shield him. Okay, I kind of want to zone now. I'll drop it. No, Bacchus, tank it for them. Looks like they're not even contesting it. Yeah, it looks like we're chilling. Surprised they didn't contest that at all. I mean, they're only down 9k and... Getting later on, it was empowered as well. But that was empowered up, cheese, so we're gonna be doing even more damage to those things. Yo, Ben, thanks for 100 if you're a host. I appreciate it, man. So the way I want to play these is I just kind of want to peel. I can use my blink to go on their backline, but I want to peel back to my carries, keep them alive, especially against his colleague. So it'll make it really hard for them to really win these fights. So, all these other speeds, so I'm just gonna play my carries here, make sure we get Phoenix. Try and body block that, which I did. Chillin'. Saving my shield. They're just playing up for no reason. This is really good for us. We got two active. Nice. I'm gonna shield him. Keep him alive. Give me a Wow, that's too bad. I'm surprised we were able to get the Phoenix there, and I'm surprised it went that poorly, but I guess they kind of just got owned by Holly. Go, oh, 500 pot for damage. At least we're for teleport, let the boys know that I'm coming back. This might be a little bit sketchy to go for this, just because Neja is respawning. But it is one hit. Nah, this is gonna be bad. We shouldn't do this. If anything, we could have pushed out mid. I don't remember whether they got gold carry or not. We can get their strip their buffs from them. He said completed. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll make it down, but I'll take this. Yeah, bread buff. That's a wet dream right there, dude. Okay, that is already done. I guess the Zhang has blink, so once the Kali goes, once the Kali goes on our back line, and uh, Zhang blinks in, it's really hard for them to survive. They should probably go some defense, honestly. Cause he's just gonna get one shot by Jean Cree Blink plus Kali going on him. I think he should go like Mantle probably. Like he probably should have foregone this Jemviso, gone Obsidian instead of Jemviso, and then gone Mantle last time or in his uh, fifth item slot. Like we're pushing left. We still have fire on three of us, but not on our carries, which is unfortunate. He's kind of sick here actually. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just really good because they have a Kali. They just kind of go on the back line. We can go mid Phoenix now. That X Ball's dead. I'm going to push this way first. Tell them to be careful. I can roll out behind them maybe. It's really important to keep this strong in combat. Maybe we'll just kill this path here. Get the Phoenix for free, so we're chilling. Put him to back up. 
don't want to get too crazy, especially against the Kali. She can turn the game at any moment. <sighs> Just make sure we get Pyro here, and then we'll kind of play it clean and get red buffs. Go for fire. Oh, they're going to be able to get their red buff, unfortunately. I can't go over there. Maybe they haven't gotten it yet just because Kali's in mid. That's what I want to look for. Stripping red buffs from enemies is really, really important. Whoa, lag. Nice, this is up. Kali can kind of chase me down forever, so i got to be a little bit careful. I'm going to use my rail early just so it comes back up. Need to. Yeah, nice. Okay, I can back for 1500 pot. What could I get in place of this? I could go Witchblade. That's honestly not too bad here. Just because of the Kali. And uh, honestly, I'm kind of going it because it's the only thing I can afford as well, but... Let's see here, what else could I go? I guess fire's up. I'll just go the Witchblade, why not? Makes me a little bit faster as well. I should have placed my ward and then gotten another sentry, but... I can TP to a ward if I need to be there, but it looks like they're not contesting it, so I'm just gonna roll out. Um, always kinda wanna make sure that you have your TP up if there's like big objectives around. So that you can be there if you need to be. Or if you have to like go push out a wave, then you can push out the wave. We need to do gold because it's an Oni gold. So, so if we have gold or Oni Gold plus Fire Giant, it's really obnoxious for them, and it makes it a lot easier to push. Plus, it's an empowered FG, so it just makes it that much easier. Dude, I could solo this; it would just take forever, but I wouldn't take any damage. Um, it's a cane. Thank you for the 160 viewer host. Appreciate that. I want to try and catch this left wave so he doesn't. That's his ult. No. They shouldn't try and kill him. I was just trying to push out the way. We should push for Phoenix Station. Now that we have Oni Waves pushing, we can push this left for uh, Phoenix. And we should be chilling. Yeah, I've gotten a ton of hosts tonight. It's insane. Hang out with the hottest dudes. Go to the coolest, chillest restaurants. We could get their red again, and it would just make it basically impossible to lose this siege with Oni plus two double red. Just kill this guy. Good kill. That's why I want to stay with my carries though. Keep them alive and just kill whoever's in front of us. Oh, we can kill that guy. Get my shield a little bit. Want to wait for a stun? Does it? I'm gonna shield him just for the DPS. He should be good. Oh no. Frank can kill him now. Nice. We can just end now. We're gonna have our waves coming in here. Just shield for Titan damage. Just tank the whole thing for my fairies. They're kinda getting zoned, but it doesn't really matter. They can't do anything. GG. That's the power of Geb. Honestly, that game, I maybe didn't even need to go blink. Blink's just always nice to have as an option for Geb for the, like, beautiful initiation. I got a couple of good blink ults off the game. A couple of them are meh. Like, hit one or two people, thought I would hit more. But all in all, like... E so, even then, like, that Jong went blink, and it seemed like it would be good, but at the same time, if I just stay with my carry and we, like, insta-kill the Jong, I think a part of the problem was Jong went in and Kali didn't go in, so, like, having the double DPS on her backland didn't really... Uh, it didn't happen that last fight, so we just insta-kill Zhong, and then basically we'll just win the rest of the fights. But... My current ended up destroying. 